welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be going over how i create stickers into full detail well i'll be going into full detail <laughs> i'll be covering what softwares i use what machines i use my printer and cutting machine for the stickers materials i use and everything i can literally think of that i struggled with in the beginning i'm trying to help you build your sticker business or if you just want to create stickers this video is perfect for you so please stay it's informative i promise i'm going to be going over how i create stickers using my digital art and my traditional art which i feel like is very important either way i hope this video helps if there's anything i missed just let me know in the comments and i will definitely reply to you but i hope you enjoy the video thank you for visiting my channel well, the first thing you have to have is a design. So the first thing I do is look for inspiration and ideas. Sometimes that just has to do with me writing down a list of things that, that are appealing to me. Or sometimes just scrolling on Pinterest for hours and saving cute images to like a board on Pinterest. <laughs> what you create is completely up to you. I would say the only difference between traditional and digital art when wanting to create stickers with them the process is a little bit different i personally find creating digital art easier because it's more of a smoother process for digital art once i feel like i've completed my design i outline each of my designs with a white border the color is up to personal preference but i personally like a cleaner simpler look so for this sticker design i did white then after i outline I save the designs as a PDF without the background. The reason I do this is because when transferring the design to the Silhouette software, it makes outlining the sticker design a lot easier and the machine automatically knows where to cut the sticker. So always when creating a sticker, I highly recommend separating the background from your sticker design or from whatever you want to be cut out on your sticker sheets or just a regular die cut sticker for traditional art what i do after i finished illustrating the piece i scan my works in my printer my printer is pretty old but it does the job for me so i'm not complaining <laughs> i scan my artworks with a 600 dpi there is a setting where you could put it for a thousand i personally don't mind the 600 if you're confused about what dpi is it's basically the resolution of your photos like how they will come out when printed the higher the number the more clean and less blurry your design or artwork or whatever it is is gonna look the cleaner and better it's going to look basically so after i scan my artworks and download them i download them as pdfs i then bring them up on canva i know a lot of people use adobe photoshop but your girl is on a budget so i currently can't afford that i do have a school account but for some reason they don't let me use adobe photoshop at home it has to be at the school which is weird but anyways i use canva to set up my designs and place them how i would like them to be placed i'm designing a sticker sheet so i'm placing them in specific areas but if you're just doing die cut stickers i believe placement doesn't necessarily matter and after i fix everything the way that i like it i then add a white border to each of my designs the reason being as mentioned before it's because the silhouette recognizes automatically where to cut and it makes your life a whole lot easier after adding the border around the sticker design then what i do is i add a bright color to the background and the reason i do this is because once i download this design as you see me doing here i then go back to clip studio paint i upload that same pdf i just downloaded and i then use the wand tool to select that bright blue color that i put back as the background and i erase that blue bright color if there's some blue left behind i usually just erase it 
or just fix the border of the sticker. It doesn't take a ton of time. It's just easy and simple to do. I set everything up how I want it to look. Like I said before, I'm designing a sticker sheet, so I place the stickers where I would want them to be. I add a colored background, the title as well. This all comes down to personal preference on how you would like your stickers to be displayed, but this is just how I do mine. Once I finish laying out everything how I would like them to be, I download the sticker design separately from the background. The next thing I will be talking about is printing. I did get some new sticker paper in the mail, so I'm unboxing that now. <laughs> it is different from previous sticker paper I have used, and I wanted to test out if there was necessarily a difference in the way my silhouette portrait will cut them out. Thankfully, there was not a change in cutting on a different type of paper, which was perfect. But continuing on to printing, I have had so many issues when it came to printing and at first I thought it was my printer because my printer is kind of old, but it turns out it was because I was not formatting the paper size correctly. So what I always do first, and I always double check this at the end, I open the silhouette software and I upload my artworks and I set up my designs the way that I would like them to be. It's hard to put into words so I'm just going to show you and explain. So when on the Silhouette Studio software, on the very left corner, you go to File, then select Print Page Setup, and then select Letter. I believe Letter is 8.5 times 11 inches, which is your regular you know, paper size. Then I go to the page setup panel. And for media size, I also choose the letter. My printer is still a little bit funky, so I do have to print out one page at a time for my designs to not get cut off. But that is just my printer. I'm pretty sure any up-to-date printer will not do the dumb stuff my printer does. When going onto the page setup settings, or I guess that section, these three buttons here, remember to play around with them. That checkered area and that red line that is surrounding the paper, remember to keep your designs inside that area. If not, the silhouette portrait or the silhouette in general will not recognize your sticker and more than likely it will mess up the cutting of your sticker. Once I have all those settings checked, there is one more step that I do. In Silhouette Studios, there are shapes you can use, or I guess outlines you can use. And for my sticker sheets, I use this rectangular shape to outline the sticker sheet design. You will need to make that outline a different color from the outline that is surrounding your sticker designs. So I make the outline of the sticker sheet purple, and then I make the stickers on the inside red. Or you could just use any color, it doesn't matter, they just have to be different colors. Once everything is set up, I go to the left hand side to that little print design section whatever you want to call it when printing as said before i always make sure the paper size is correct which is letter paper size i also select the settings for best printing quality and also color just make sure to put the correct paper for the best printing One of the last things you have to do. Once your sticker paper is printed, place the paper onto the mat. 
You just have to place the paper onto the mat as precisely as possible so your stickers come out perfectly cut just how you want them. There is an additional step you have to do so your stickers come out cleanly cut. You need to make sure your silhouette is well lit all around it. The better lighting it has, the more likely your stickers will have a clean and perfect cut. I will also display my needle settings on the screen. Once everything is sorted out, then you press the send button. And you just cross your fingers and hope your silhouette cut your stickers right because <laughs> that's the way I react every single time. If you would like more tutorials, just let me know in the comments down below. And also subscribe. There's no harm in subscribing. It's for free. Because I have realized a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. So, feel free to subscribe. And like this video. It would really help me out. And all these stickers shown in this video are also listed on my Etsy shop. You can visit all my social medias by clicking on the very first link in the description. And again, thank you for watching. It really means a lot. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!